Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Armin, and I am back today with Ken. Uh, so, Ken, um, uh, as a producer has worked in the both television medium and um, in, a f in a feature film theater, but like uh, release medium, uh, uh, what would you say are the differences between the two? Well, uh, the, the differences come down to um, uh, really two areas. One is going to be budget, and one is going to be uh, content. Uh, the you know when you uh, the first film that I made was a was a horror film a film I made straight out of college, and that was a film that was intended for theatrical release. And uh, you know you can imagine a horror film. It's a you, you know uh, uh, it had its share of uh, violence and and that sort of thing. Um, and at the time that I made the film, which is going back a few years now, uh, that you wouldn't see that sort of thing on television. So the content of that was something very different than what I would have made for television uh, if I were making something for television. The budget also, um, uh, usually for usually for a theatrical release, you're going to have a much much bigger budget. Uh, the TV is going to be a smaller budget. Uh, although you know as the years have gone by, uh, the, the two mediums are, you know, are merging a little bit, uh, or let me, let me put it this way, what you used to see in the theaters, now you almost find exclusively on TV. Uh, I mean, it's uh, uh, obviously TV can't compete with the big budget uh, special effects movies, uh, although you find a little bit of that on TV. Uh, but, uh, you know, it used to be, when, you know, when I was growing up uh, uh, in the, uh, you know, in the 70s and, and the 80s, I mean, it, you know, you'd open up the, the, the newspaper and you'd look at all the movies that were playing and you'd have a couple of uh, sci-fi things or, 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 or spectacle-oriented things, but most of the films you had were dramas uh, of one sort or another, uh, things that, that you now rarely ever see in a, in a theater. Uh, but you will find that on television. So a, a lot, a lot of the, I would say, the kind of the dramatic material that used to be uh, considered high-end theatrical type material is now more of a, a of a television staple. Right. Yeah. And um, so, as a producer, uh, one of the things that's been, uh, one of the trends of the industry lately has been, um, like, runaway productions. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say are the are the advantages of shooting in Los Angeles versus shooting in another territory? There's so many advantages uh, to shooting here. Um, I mean, th the first and the most obvious thing is is that Los Angeles has uh, the deepest talent pool in front of the camera and behind the camera of any place on earth. Uh, you uh, you know, if you shoot outside of Los Angeles and you're drawing from the local talent pool, and I've had this experience before in various parts of uh, the country and, and, and outside the country, uh, you know, if you if you wind up making multiple pictures in that faraway jurisdiction, uh, you wind up casting the same actors in every movie. You you do <laughs> because what you'll do is you'll find uh, there's five or ten or fifteen actors that are terrific, and then everybody else kind of doesn't have that level of experience. And then what you wind up doing is you wind up flying in people from the from from Los Angeles anyway and then that becomes an expense in order to get to uh, get the cast you want and you and you you look at the you look at the dollars and then you you start to think well I should have just shot it in LA to begin with I mean I, I you know in in some ways it would have made more sense uh, and, and the same thing about you know the the, the cruise you know in, in some of the other states and other places that you might go to make a film you will have uh, two, maybe three really experienced crews. And if you get to that location to make a movie and those two or three experienced crews are working on another show, hmm. you, you are now having to train a crew to come in and make the movie for you or you're flying in the crew from LA to begin with and you're back to the same problem. So uh, it, it, it is, uh, it, frankly it's, it's more complicated and more of a headache uh, than, uh, in my opinion, than it's, than it's often worth to shoot outside of Los Angeles, unless, of course, your material lends itself to, to another right. location. I'll give you another funny example of uh, something that, that, I all, that, that I found uh, about uh, shooting in Los Angeles. When you, when you shoot uh, in further north, further north on the continent, wherever that is, in the United States or Canada, 
you have a different look. And by the look, I mean the light. Right. The light is different. So the movies you make up there are grayer. They, have, they just have a different feel. Now, sometimes that's good. Sometimes that lends itself to the material. But, but the worldwide audience has been sort of trained on the Technicolor L.A. look. There's no, by the way, you know, the, the L.A. has vibrant colors. And, and, and that comes through in our movies. And audiences sort of expect that. So, uh, you know, I, I just find I, I also get a great look. And I get the look that the international audience would want anyway when I shoot in Los Angeles. Thank you, Ken. That was, uh, that was very informative. And um, I look forward to speaking with you another time. Thank you.